Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Cushing, and today I'd like to finish up our Medicare discussion by looking at the Medicare Physician Fee Schedule, which is the basis for all original Medicare claims. It is based upon the resource-based relative value system that we have previously discussed. Now, medical billing Medicare beneficiaries is dependent upon whether or not the provider is a participating or a non-participating Medicare provider. Every year, physicians choose whether or not they want to participate in Medicare. They must agree to accept assignment for Medicare claims if they participate. That means they agree to accept Medicare allowable charges as payment in full for services rendered. A participating physician, a PAR physician, may bill the beneficiary for deductibles and coinsurance, but may not collect an amount greater than the Medicare amount allowed by the Medicare fee schedule. Here's an example. The provider has a usual charge of $160 for a particular service. The Medicare allowable charge for that service is $50. Medicare will pay 80% of the allowable charge. $40. The beneficiary must pay 20% of the allowable charge, or $10. Now, a non-participating provider, non-PAR provider, can decide on a claim-by-claim -claim basis to accept or not accept assignment. If the non-participating provider accepts assignment for a claim, he or she will be paid 5% less for their services than a participating provider. Let me repeat that. He or she will be paid 5% less for their services than a participating provider. If the non-participating provider does not accept assignment for a claim, he or she is limited to what amount they can charge the Medicare beneficiary. They may not charge a Medicare beneficiary more than 115% of the amount listed in the Medicare non-participating fee schedule. These limited charges can be collected at the time of service. The beneficiary can pay these charges and send the bill to Medicare. Medicare will reimburse the beneficiary 80% of the allowable amount in the non-participating fee schedule. Let's go through a couple of examples. We'll repeat the one we just went through and add a couple more. Now, let's assume we're a participating physician. We'll review what we just went through. The provider has a usual charge of $160 for a particular service. The Medicare allowable charge for that service is $50. Medicare will pay 80% of the allowable charge, $40. The beneficiary, again, must pay 20% of the allowable charge, or $10. Now let's move on to a non-participating provider who accepts assignment for this claim. Again, the provider has a usual charge of $160 for a particular service. The Medicare allowable charge for that service is $50, but we have to subtract 5% because the physician is a non-participating physician. So the allowable charge is now $47.50. Medicare will pay 80% of this allowable charge, or $38. The beneficiary must pay 20% of this allowable charge, or $9.50. Now let's extend this to a non-participating provider who decides not to accept assignment. Not to accept assignment. Again, the provider has a usual charge of $160 for a particular service. Again, the Medicare allowable charge for that service is $50 minus the 5% or $47.50. But the limiting charge is 115% so the limiting charge is 115% times 47.50 or 
$54.63. I rounded it up. The beneficiary can be billed at that point and must pay the provider $54.63. Now the beneficiary can send the bill to Medicare and Medicare will then reimburse the beneficiary 80% of the limited charge or $43.70. Well, I hope this gives you a little idea of uh, the Medicare payment schedule. Have a good day.